Hi everyone, I'll be discussing about Firefox multi-account containers. It is an extension in Firefox that allows you to isolate your web browsing sessions into different containers, each with its own set of cookies and storage. So normally when you browse, all your cookies are stored in one spot. Cookies are tiny files stored on your computer that has some information about you, like your preferences, your login, and your shopping cart. So that when you go on to the site, it already knows who you are. So if you log into your personal Gmail account, it will remember you logged in with your personal Gmail account. And what if you have a Gmail account for work? If you want to access it, you would have to log off, then log in with your work account. This can be tedious going back and forth throughout the day. So with Firefox multi-account containers, you can create two containers, one for work and one for personal, and they are completely separate and can't see each other. You can do more than just have a container for email. You can create a container just for online shopping. You've probably noticed that when you check your email, it may show ads and content targeted to you as it knows you by all your cookies and what you've been doing. To maintain privacy and keep you protected, you can create a container specific for online shopping. So to get started, I'm going to download Firefox multi-account containers. Just Google search for it and then click on it, and I'm going to add it to Firefox. Add, OK. And now it's installed. I'm going to go to the extensions. I'm going to go to the gear, and I'm going to pin it to the toolbar. So going into it, and it's going to give a brief introduction on it. So I'm just going to hit Get Started, Next, 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 Not Now. And I'm going to skip this as well, Not Now. And once you get started, you'll see at the bottom, there's four predefined containers that it already creates, which is personal, work, banking, and shopping. And then I can open up a new tab. So if I want to open up personal, I can create a personal one. And then at the top, you can see that there is a blue highlight. And also as well as on the side here, it says it's a personal. And then I can open up another container. I'll open up work, for example. And then I'll go back to my personal and I'm going to log in to a Gmail account. All right, so I've logged into my Gmail account and the personal container. And then now I'm going to open up a work Gmail account. I'm going to go into my work container, go to Gmail. All right, so I've logged into a work Gmail account here. And this is in a completely separate container, so it cannot see anything in my personal container. Now I'm just gonna open up a regular tab and let's say I go to Amazon and now Amazon is up and what I can do is I can put this in to a container so I can open it in a new container tab and I can do shopping for example. And I'll open up in shopping. And now what you can do is you can have it so that whenever you go to amazon.com it'll open up in the shopping container so you can click here and then it will ask you to always open the site in, and then you put shopping. So then if I open up a new tab here, and I go to Amazon.com, and it will ask you to open the site in your assigned container, and then you can tick off to remember my decision, and then you can open in the shopping container. And if I open it up again, and so it'll open up in the shopping container. Now let's say I have multiple tabs here. So I'm going to open up another container in personal. I'm going to open up another container in work. So I have all these containers here and they are color coded, but it's not sorted. So what you can do is you can click on it and then you can sort tabs by container and it'll sort everything accordingly. So I got my personal and I got my work and then I got shopping here. If you want to create additional containers, you can go to manage containers and a new container and create one for Facebook specifically and I'll give it the color blue and then I'll give it the sunglasses icon and I'll hit OK. And if you want to remove a container, manage containers and then go to Facebook and then you can delete its container. OK and I'll remove it. And so going back to the shopping container and it's always going to open up amazon.com in it. And if you ever want to change that, you can do is you can go to manage containers, go to shopping, and then you go to manage site list, and then amazon.com, and you can just remove it. And you can go back. So then when you open up amazon.com, 
It's just going to open up normally and it won't open up in your shopping container. So that's it. That's Firefox multi-account containers. It's great if you want to do multiple logins, organize browsing. It's great for security and for your privacy. So I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.